Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create a thumbnail inside Microsoft Word. And it may be a little bit confusing because we have a screenshot of Microsoft Word inside Microsoft Word, but hopefully it's not. So let's say I, I've just uh, recorded a tutorial about how to create metabos inside Microsoft Word just because, you know, metabos are pretty cool. And maybe this is my final document and for the tutorial. So I want to take a snapshot or screenshot of this window. I will make sure that I have everything in place. And I also need a blank document. So here is my blank document. And the paper size usually doesn't matter too much, but I will most likely change the layout to be a landscape instead of portrait, just so I have more space to work with. So for my Metabos document, I can take a snapshot by pressing Alt print screen on my keyboard, which will only take snapshot of this one window. And then in my blank document, I can just jump to home ribbon and press the paste button. So now there is a, a screenshot of my Word application. The other way how to do it is to select insert screenshot. And I can basically take a screenshot of any open window on my computer, but it's somehow not working for me. Okay, it is. It wasn't working previously. So those are two different ways how to take a screenshot of Word window. Now, once the image is there, I will change the layout options to be behind the text. And maybe I want to add some text over the image. So I will select insert shapes and I will select text box once this menu is loaded. And I will draw the text box like so. And I will type in, of course, metabols in Word. And for this text box, I will open the format ribbon and change the fill to no fill and the shape outline to no outline. The fill color for the text could be probably white. And I will change the font to maybe this uh, intro condensed black, which is like a demo version of paid font and make it a little bit bigger like like so. I may change the alignment to right alignment and make sure that it's positioned over the image somehow nicely. OK, so we have the image, we have the text. Maybe just to emphasize the fact that this is inside Word, I can put a Word icon on top. So I will open browser and just type in Microsoft Word logo. And for the Wikipedia, I will just uh, copy this image into clipboard. So select copy image and paste it in here. So I'll select Control V to paste it. Again, I will change this to be behind the text just so I can move it freely. And maybe I want a rounded corners. So in order to add a rounded corners, I will insert a new shape being the rounded rectangle. So insert shapes and there will be this rounded rectangle, which I will draw with the shift key being pressed. So it's a square, rounded square like so. And now for this image, I will copy this into clipboard. I will actually cut it into clipboard. So I will press Control X. So it disappears, it's inside the clipboard. For this shape, I will right click and select format shape. For the line, I will set the low, no line. And for the fill, I will set the picture fill and click uh, use picture from clipboard. So now we have a clipboard, a picture from clipboard, this icon. I will maybe adjust those, uh, you know, rounded corners a little bit. Maybe I can also add a little bit of drop shadow. So in the shadow, I will select one of those presets and change the color to be some darker blue maybe even darker blue, more blurred. OK, that looks fine for me. OK, so we have everything we need to, but uh, we have to save it as an image in order to use it like on YouTube or such. So what I will do is I will jump to Home Ribbon, select Selection Pane, and I will select our background image, text box and the rectangle with the rounded corners by clicking just with my mouse, pressing the holding the Control key. Then I will copy this into clipboard by either pressing the Ctrl C button or Ctrl C shortcut or pressing this button. And I want to jump to the blank page. But just because I only have like, you know, there is no text in here, you can see there's a little bit of blinking cursor. So in order to move the cursor down here, I will just double click into this space with my mouse and then press enter key multiple times to jump to the next page. Now the next step is to paste this what we have copied into clipboard as an image. So I will click this down arrow and paste this as an image which is this paste as picture. Now this is one picture as you can see in the selection pane. So I can right click and select save as picture and basically save this as a picture like metabols in Word. Then that's it. Now I have this image saved on my disk in the pictures folder and I can use it for anything I want. So that's how you create thumbnail inside Microsoft Word using only basic tools. Thanks for watching.